Sunday, March 3rd, 2024, Evening Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good evening, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News AI-generated News Digest Daily and Tele Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, headlines of the day. $1B lawsuit filed against Boeing and Alaska Airlines. New drug could revolutionize healthcare and human life. Fisker and Nissan partnership may change EV game. U.S. military airdrops aid to Gaza for emergencies. Water source in space surpasses Earth's oceans. Historic delivery to Moon's South Pole, March 1st, 2024. Burger King and McDonald's outperform Wendy's and much more. But first, this day in history. March 3rd in history. March 3rd, 724. Empress Gensho abdicates the throne in favor of her nephew Shomu, who becomes Emperor of Japan. March 3rd, 1861. Alexander II of Russia signs the Emancipation Manifesto, freeing serfs. Today's obituaries. Eleanor Collins, brief Wikipedia summary. Eleanor Collins, a Canadian jazz singer, television host and civic leader, was known as Canada's First Lady of Jazz. Born in 1919, she broke barriers as the first woman of colour and jazz singer to headline a national TV show. Collins received multiple honours, including the Order of Canada, and passed away in 2024 at the age of 104. Roberto Flaitas, a legendary Uruguayan football player and manager, passed away at the age of 91. He had successful stints coaching the Uruguay national team and top Uruguayan clubs, winning prestigious titles like the Copa America and Copa Libertadores. Flaitas was a highly respected figure in South American football. Jacqueline Jose, a Filipino actress known for her work in films and soap operas, received various awards throughout her career. She was praised for her roles in popular TV series such as Familia Zaragoza and Mula Sapuso. Jose also won the Cannes Film Festival Award for Best Actress in 2016 for her role in Mar Rosa. Chris Mortensen. Brief Wikipedia summary. Chris Mortensen, an American sports journalist known for his work at ESPN, passed away at the age of 72 after battling throat cancer. Mortensen had a successful career in sports journalism, winning numerous awards and covering various sports teams and events. Ed Ott, a former American baseball player, coach and manager, passed away at the age of 72. Ott played as a catcher in the MLB for the Pittsburgh Pirates and California Angels, winning the World Series in 1979. After his playing career, he coached for the Houston Astros and Detroit Tigers. Amjad Parvez, brief Wikipedia summary. Amjad Parvez was a prominent Pakistani engineer, writer and singer, known for his contributions to NESPAC, his writings, and his passion for music. He held various positions in NESPAC, received awards for his technical work, and wrote books on music and reflections. Parvez passed away in 2024 at the age of 78. UL Washington. Brief Wikipedia summary. UL Washington, a former American professional baseball player known for his time with the Kansas City Royals, Montreal Expos and Pittsburgh Pirates, passed away at the age of 70 due to cancer. Washington played as a shortstop and later transitioned into coaching roles in various minor league organisations. W.C. Clark, brief Wikipedia summary. Wesley Curley Clark, known as the godfather of Austin Blues, was a prominent American blues musician from Austin, Texas. His influence on the local blues scene since the late 1960s was significant, and he formed various bands, inspiring and guiding numerous musicians. He passed away at the age of 84 in 2024. Mark Dodson, brief Wikipedia summary. 
Mark Dodson is a British record producer and sound engineer known for his work with heavy metal artists such as Anthrax, Judas Priest and Suicidal Tendencies. He has produced albums for various bands and worked on sound engineering and mixing for multiple projects in the heavy metal genre. Vladimir Diachenko, a Russian politician and researcher, served as the head of administration of Amur Oblast and was a member of the Federation Council. He passed away on March 2nd, 2024, at the age of 75. Mohammed Imami Kashani, an Iranian politician and member of the Assembly of Experts, passed away at the age of 92. He was known for his role as the interim Friday prayer leader of Tehran and for calling Al-Qaeda an illegitimate child of America and Israel. Eskinderea, brief Wikipedia summary. American thoroughbred racehorse Eskinderea, 17, passed away due to heart failure on March 2, 2024. Eskinderea, a successful racehorse and sire, was bred in Kentucky and owned by Zayat Stables. He was a favourite for the Kentucky Derby, but was withdrawn due to a leg injury. Wally Firth. Brief Wikipedia summary. Wally Firth, a Metis Canadian politician, was the first native politician from the North to be elected to the House of Commons. He served as a new Democratic Party MP for the Northwest Territories in the 1970s. Firth also had a diverse career as a pilot, broadcaster, fur trader and native rights advocate. He passed away in 2024 at the age of 89. Howard Hyatt. Brief Wikipedia summary. Howard Haim Hyatt, a prominent American medical researcher, passed away at the age of 98. He was involved in the discovery of messenger RNA and held various leadership positions in the medical field, including being the dean of the Harvard School of Public Health. Hyatt's contributions to medicine and public health were significant and far-reaching. Paul Hood, 69, Canadian actor, Les Boys, and television and radio host complications from brain surgery. Valery Ivchenko, 84, Russian actor, the tale about the painter in love, rock and roll for princesses, Mia Van U. Abraham. John Okafor, also known as Mr. IBU, was a Nigerian actor and comedian who appeared in over 200 Nollywood films, including the Mr. IBU series. He faced health challenges, including a leg amputation, and passed away on March 2nd, 2024, at the age of 62, due to cardiac arrest. Soren Pape Polsen, a Danish politician and former Minister of Justice, passed away at 52 due to a cerebral hemorrhage. Polsen served as a member of the Folketing and Mayor of Viborg Municipality and later as the leader of the Conservative People's Party until his untimely death on March 2, 2024. Dinu Seraru, brief Wikipedia summary. Dinu Seraru was a Romanian novelist and playwright born in 1932. He was a member of the Writers' Union of Romania and had ties to the Romanian Communist Party. After the fall of the regime, he served as chairman of the National Theatre Bucharest. Sararu died in 2024 at the age of 92. And now on to today's news. General News. U.S. military airdrops emergency humanitarian aid into Gaza, the Associated Press. The United States conducted an emergency humanitarian aid airdrop in Gaza following a deadly encounter between Palestinians and Israeli troops during an aid convoy. President Biden authorized the airdrop of Meals Ready to Eat, MREs, to provide immediate assistance to civilians in need. U.S. storm massive blizzard hits California and Nevada. BBC.com. A massive blizzard hits California and Nevada, causing power outages, road closures, and severe avalanche warnings in the Sierra Nevada region. High winds and heavy snowfall have shut down ski resorts and major highways, with Yosemite National Park closed and residents urged to stay put. 
A ship earlier hit by Yemen's Houthi rebels sinks in the Red Sea, the first vessel lost in conflict. ABC News. The article discusses the sinking of the Ruby Mar ship by Yemen's Houthi rebels in the Red Sea, causing concerns about environmental damage and disrupting shipping routes. The incident highlights the ongoing conflict between the rebels and Yemen's government, impacting aid shipments and global inflation. Business news. Fisker and Nissan, a potential game-changing electric vehicle partnership. Fiskerati. Nissan's potential $400 million investment in Fisker could boost the EV market position of the latter. Talks are ongoing and a deal might be finalized soon. Henrik Fisker refrains from commenting but expresses hope for a strategic partnership with an OEM aligning with Fisker's vision. Boeing Alaska Airlines hit with $1 billion lawsuit filed by three flight 1282 passengers on Fox Business. Three passengers on Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 have filed a $1 billion lawsuit against the airline and Boeing after a door plug blew out mid-flight on the Boeing 737 MAX 9 jet. The lawsuit cites systemic problems at Boeing and includes allegations of emotional and physical injuries. Burger King and McDonald's menus beat Wendy's on a big move, the street. Taco Bell and other fast food chains have introduced meatless menu options but Wendy's faces criticism for their approach. Science News. An historic delivery to the moon's south pole on this week at March 1st, 2024. NASA. I'm sorry, but I don't see any text or article to summarize. Can you please provide me with the text or a specific article you would like me to summarize for you? Scientists discover water source in space three times greater than Earth's oceans. Indy 100. Scientists have discovered an immense presence of water vapor around a young star named H.L. Tori, observed using ALMA. This finding, published in Nature Astronomy, suggests the potential habitability of planets forming in the disk. The volume of water vapor may influence planet formation similarly to Earth's conditions billions of years ago. This is what it looks like to re-enter Earth's atmosphere from a space capsule's point of view. Engadget. Varda Space Industries released incredible footage of their space capsule's return trip to Earth, showcasing the separation from the carrier satellite in orbit, re-entry, and landing at the Utah Test and Training Range on February 21st. The company waited for government approvals to land on U.S. soil. Famous people born on this day. March 3rd, 1981. Emmanuel Papo. Ghanaian footballer. Claude Scholl. Here's a recap of their Wikipedia page. Claude Schulz, an English-Australian soldier born on March 3, 1901, died in 2011. He served in both world wars, was the oldest combat veteran in England, and the last to witness the scuttling of the German fleet. James Merrill. Here's a recap of their Wikipedia page. James Ingram Merrill, an American poet, was born on March 3, 1926, and died on February 6, 1995. He won the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1977 and is known for his diverse works, including both formalist lyric poetry and epic narratives. He grew up privileged and faced challenges like writer's block, which he overcame with psychiatric help. Yeah, health news. Text-to-speech program. I'm here to assist you. Please share the text or article you want me to summarize in 40 words or less. Eight unusual symptoms of diabetes everyone must know about. The Times of India. Bedwetting in children is common but can be a sign of diabetes if it persists beyond the typical age. Excess sugar can lead to increased urination, manifesting as bedwetting in children with undiagnosed diabetes. This drug could be a game changer for the human race. Daily Coast. Kamer Med, a New Zealand biotech startup, has made significant progress in developing broad-spectrum antivirals based on the Draco technology, surpassing previous results against human viruses. Their platform allows for rapid development of modular antivirals with potential efficacy against various viruses, including new ones. Entertainment News. Ananambani's Vantara Animal Rescue honored at pre-wedding bash. 
Business Insider. Mukesh Ambani is hosting a jungle-themed pre-wedding bash for his son, Anant Ambani, and fiancée Radhika Merchant, with guests dressing in animal prints. The celebration in Gujarat, India, includes world-renowned celebrities and stars in attendance for the three-day event. Brittany Cartwright claims ex Jax Taylor is not really trying to work through marital issues. Page six. Brittany Cartwright expressed in an interview that Jax Taylor is not putting an effort to save their relationship after separating. She emphasized the importance of her mental health and clarified that their split is not a publicity stunt for their new show. You know what really grinds my gears? These headlines about billion dollar lawsuits, groundbreaking drugs, and space exploration milestones. I mean, who knew Boeing and Alaska Airlines were getting into such hot water? And this new wonder drug that's supposed to revolutionize health care. Sounds good, but I'll believe it when I see it. And don't get me started on this Fisker and Nissan partnership supposedly changing the electric vehicle game. I mean, can we just stick to good old gas guzzlers and not complicate things further? And speaking of complications, the U.S. military airdropping aid to Gaza for emergencies. What a mess. Can't we find a more peaceful way to help those in need? Now, this news about a water source in space surpassing Earth's oceans, what does that even mean for us Earthlings? Are we all going to be shipping in space water now instead of sticking to good old H2O? And speaking of out-of-this-world news, a historic delivery to the moon's South Pole. What are they delivering, moon cheese? I'm all for space exploration, but let's not lose sight of the issues we have right here on Earth. And lastly, Burger King and McDonald's outperforming Wendy's. Who would have thought? I guess you can't beat the classics. But let's not forget to support your local mom-and-pop burger joints, too. In conclusion, these headlines may be grabbing attention, but let's not forget the real issues at hand. Let's keep our feet firmly planted on the ground while reaching for the stars. Now, a couple of dad jokes for you. Why did the banana go to the doctor? He was not peeling well. Dermatologists are always in a hurry. They spend all day making rash decisions. Thank you for watching this AGNDD Intel I report. Like, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers. Cheers.